Welcome back, guys, to the blind run of The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures for the Nintendo GameCube. We are now on the Desert Temple, which appears to be like a little mini-dungeon before the actual dungeon of this area. And, uh, what's this little slab over here gotta say? Yeah, because I couldn't have figured that one out without reading the slab. Anyway, though, easy puzzle. This is kind of fun. Got a little mini dungeon before the actual dungeon. I'm cool with that. I always like dungeons. And he has a hammer. Okay, there we go. Let's get him. There we go. Let's get our force gems and we'll head over to the right. Let's see it's over there. Got a door. With another hammer dark link. And then there's another one over here. There we go. And here we go. 300 force gems already. Okay, we have a little switch blocked off. Let's light up all these switches. Okay, I guess we have to hit them in an order. There we go. Just go clockwise with them. And pushing this does what? Okay, and got it some hammers. Nice. And let's head back. Whoa, okay. Okay, well, I was trying to flip the turtle. I see a little hump in the sand here. Another force gem. All sorts of differently colored turtles. Let's try to get a big shockwave going. Okay, and we'll make a key up here. I'm cool with that. Gotta take it uh, down here. I've seen a little locked block. There we go. Got our way out. Okay, pull, pull one of these down. There we go. Let's see what's up here for us. We have a couple, oh, those things. A couple of these uh, statues. I remember them from the, well, several dungeons actually in A Link to the Past. I was thinking the Eastern Palace off the top of my head, but they're all over the place in A Link to the Past. For some reason, those statues always gave me trouble whenever I was younger. Nowadays, though, I just use a one pot before I get the bow, and then after the bow, of course, I use it. All right, what do we got down here? We have bow. Nice. Obviously to take out those statues. And I'm sure taking out those statues will open up the locked door at the top or the little shutter or whatever. And apparently I have to get in front of it to wake it up or whatever. Okay. That works wonders. Keep them all lined up and fire a bunch of arrows at once. You just have to time it better. Ah, come on guys. Look in the right direction. There we go. And up we go. I wonder if there's a way to take out these Beemos, I would assume bombs, since that's what I uh, took them out before, like uh, Ocarina of Time and stuff. And that didn't work. Shooting its eye didn't work, it seems. Maybe I have to use like a light arrow or something, a little charged up arrow. I'll try it later on. Okay. Let's head up from here. Nah. Yeah, let's head up. This room looks like it just has a bunch of these little statues. Let's take them all out. It's convenient that they always drop the gigantic force gems. Building them up really quickly, we already have over uh, half the amount that we need. To uh, level up and whatnot, of course. A lot of these statues are covering up switches, which are wanting to give us bows, except for this one. I guess the game just really wants to make sure that you have bows. Okay. There we go. Let's get this one. Already 1,550 force gems. Nice. 1,700 by the time I get that blue one over there. Wow, a treasure chest containing a bow. Like, I really needed it. Okay, we got switches. We gotta line them up in a little back-to-back -back formation. The one that forms the little plus symbol or the diamond shape or whatever you want to think of it as. Okay, there we go. And there we go. 1,724 gems. It's gonna be... Oh, I was gonna say a key, but uh, whatever. A moon pearl is fine with me. We need to find a gate, though, because I don't remember finding any gates. We'll check on the right side of this room within the pots and whatnot. And, wow, we already found it. Nice. And we got zapped by a laser. Okay, is this just a little bonus area with force gems? I highly doubt it, otherwise we wouldn't have had to go all the way up for, uh, Moon Pearl. 
Yeah, there we go. There's a the key. And uh, let the red one do the traveling for us. I see the locked door on the far left of this room, so we'll have the red link go over there, then call everybody. And there we go. And in here we have two dark links with hammers. Get in there, no, go back. I'm not going to get them this time. Yeah, they both got away. Oh well. Got both of those statues really quickly, and now we're leveled up. Wow, we are getting a ton of force gems in this level. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Okay, we need to shoot arrows through the little torches to light up the ones at the top. There we go. Pretty simple puzzle, and wow. It's like the boss from uh, Link to the Past. I see one lit torch and a bunch of unlit ones, so we probably have to light them all up to get a key. Alright, let's try a light arrow on one of these beamoses. Let's see if we can't destroy it. Here in just a moment we will. We'll try to light up some of these torches first. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, let's light up these ones. Okay, the entire left side of the room is lit up. Yes, it does work. It does take out the beamoses, so we had to use charged arrows, light arrows or whatever. Let's take out this beamos and then we'll uh, keep lighting up the torches. Alright, let's uh, shoot an arrow through this one. There we go. We got a lot of torches to light up over here. Now though, let's uh, shoot an arrow through this torch, and it got stuck. Okay, we need to charge it up so we can break through those pots. There we go. And now it's just as simple as shooting an arrow straight up through all these. There we go. Oh, nice. Get our health back and get that key. There we go. Have Red Link take us over here, call them all over, and go through the door. It's been a pretty straightforward little mini dungeon here. I've been enjoying it. I want to uh, hurricane slash through all these guys. Need to get a little clear opening though. Okay, let's try this again. Trying to get it all charged up. Would you guys stay away? Okay, you guys are buzzkill. You know that? Oh, whatever. It's not fun to me anymore. They all decided to be, well, retarded. They all just ran into my sword. I wasn't even trying to kill them. Oh, neat. Oh, I thought we killed them all off on the first uh, little swing on accident. I didn't even see the switch that we hit. Okay, we have one more of these to kill, and then we'll move on. There we go. What do we have over here? A couple of... several Dark Links, actually. Come on. Well, we got one Dark Link. There we go, we got three of them. And a little switch to push, so let's do that. Oh, okay, now I'll do the Hurricane Spin Attack. Assuming these guys aren't gonna run into me. Nice, that was fun. It's always satisfying whenever you can mow through a bunch of enemies with a quadruple hurricane spin attack. We got a Goma here, so let's line them all up and unload on its eye. Not so sure that lining them all up and shooting several arrows at once is actually doing me any good. I'm wondering if just one arrow is hitting, like actually doing damage hitting, or if uh, they're all four doing anything. We go. Doesn't matter because we already took Goma out. We got some hearts up here and a big force gem. And there we go. It's up here. We have Dark Link. And a ton of Dark World portals. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Let's go after this one right here. Okay, now they have the Hurricane Spin attack with them. Alright, well, let's uh, try fighting another Dark Link now. And of course, they're all three in the middle. So over there we go. Got 
one out here in this world, so let's go ahead and fight him, and now he's gonna run over there into the dark world. I didn't even mean to pick up that bomb. Gotta love whenever they leave bombs on the teleporters, or little portal portals or whatever. Okay, we killed another Dark Link. Two more left to go. Or one more, depending on if we find the real Dark Link or whatever. Alright, I see one that's in the middle here. Let's get him. There we go. Got a blue force gem. Blue big one. Okay, and as soon as I uh, come out, he goes back in. So let's enter the dark world again. And okay. Let's head over here. Alright, now we should be able to fight him. Okay, back out here to the uh, light world or whatever. Hopefully we can take him out now. Let's get some more hearts. There we go. And in here we go. You know, that's really annoying that they can just jump right up and over those walls. It's making this battle just kind of annoying because I have to keep leaving the dark world to go to the light world and then, and then come back from the light world to the dark world. It's getting kind of old. Okay, let's get ready to fight. Whose battle is it going to be? It's going to be Blue Link's. To the light world we go. We need health back as well, so yeah. Let's check the pots really quick. We have one heart. I uh, didn't mean to roll into the dark world or whatever. Okay. We should be good. There we go. Finished them all off. And up we go. Looks like that's the end of the desert temple. Nice. Gotta say, I really enjoyed that level. It's been one of my favorites so far. It's really fun. Looks like next up is the pyramid. Let's see how well we do there. Might be really tough since it had like a little mini dungeon before it. it might be uh, trying to prepare you for what's to come or something. I don't know. Alright, pyramid, bring it on. Let's go ahead and go in here, and let's see. Got to switch right from the get-go. Easy enough. There we go. We got a bunch of Gibdos here. Pretty easy to dispose of. Just put them all in this formation and unload on them. Really easy to dispose of because they're so slow. And we got two switches. Let's pull the left one. And seems like we uh, chose correct. Probably a switch underneath one of these pots. There it is. Pretty straightforward so far, but we're just at the beginning. And we fell right into a trap. Should have expected that. Okay, got a switch. There we go. Probably another switch underneath one of these. There we go. And up we are. Going, anyway. Okay, leave uh, Red Link over here. No. Yeah, let's leave Red Link over here, then switch. There we go. And of course they gotta do that. Let's get our Force Gem. Get this chest, we got a key, and let's go. Alright. Ah, uh, we got another little escape to your Game Boy Advance thing. Okay, there we go, and into the door. We only have a path to the left. Let's get rid of this Stalfos. Okay, you gotta push it down. And let's see what's up here. Just a path to the right. And in here, we can go up or down. Let's go down. Let's kill off this Stalfos if it quits jumping away. Oh my god, there. Figured killing him off would open up the doors, but uh, should have guessed that there would be a switch. All 
Alright, let's wait for that bomb to blow up. There we go. Okay, nothing over here, so it looks like we have to go out the top door. Okay, there should be a switch. There it is. And let's see what's in here. We have more Stalfos Knights. Or Stalfos or whatever. Uh, let's go up first. See it's over here. Okay, we have a treasure chest with 154 gems, not bad. Puts us at 607. We got some pots in here. Kill this keys. There we go. Another keys. Okay, looks like we have to roll down from the top up here. There we go. I was right. And what's in these? A little switch for a bridge. We got a bunch of switches over here. Let's try to pull some of them and then retreat. Or we can uh, pull them and guess right. I figured that we had to pull all of them. Those two dark links thought that they had me. They failed epically. I didn't mean to do my little dash slice inside of the Gibdo. Whatever, though. We have almost 900 force gems. Still got a pretty good ways to go before we're leveled up. Okay, we're obviously going to be getting a lamp or a fire rod soon. With all these unlit torches laying around anyway. Locked door back there and open door here. What's in here? We have traps. And uh, we got a guy up here. Let's see what he has to say. Pegasus boots. We are going to be getting those soon. But the level 2 ones? The level 1 Pegasus boots don't let you run over holes, so I'm guessing we're going to have to find a great fairy as well or something. Alright. We got this Gibdo here. Easy as usual. And I don't know where to go from here. Hey, a little thing. Okay. So, oh, take these guys out. Gotta love it whenever the little numbers and the smoke gets in your way and you don't see another enemy and you run right into them. It's kind of annoying. It's alright, though. And, uh, where to go from here? Let's try the room where we fell down and, uh, we've seen the guy with the Pegasus boots. Maybe we'll see a switch or something. Now, we do see a switch, well, a lever, and two treasure chests, but nothing that we can use a slingshot for. What's in here, and, uh... Oh, we got another one of those switches. Must have been covered up by the little, the little weapon icon from before or something. I don't know. Anyway, though, let's take out these Gibdos and, uh, see what else there is for us to do. Whatever we have to do, it's obviously in this room. Okay... I see two switches uh, out the bottom in the top of this little room. We got a switch here. Okay, well, let's uh, line them up and, uh, dang it. Let's line them up and uh, shoot. Okay, yeah, because uh, shooting one won't do anything and we have to charge up to hit them, so... I really need to memorize which direction I need to press on the C-stick to get the little back-to-back -back formation. I keep forgetting that one. You'd think that it would be easy for me to remember since I have the other three memorized, but uh, whatever. I need to remember that you gotta put that you gotta press uh, left on the C stick in order to put them in the back-to-back the -back formation. Anyway, let's take the key over here. What do we have? What do we have in here? We have a dark room. What's over there? Some pots. With the switches. There we go. We have Gibdos. Like we haven't already fought like 20 of these now. <laughs> Looks like uh, they're gonna turn into Stalfoses once we destroy them and go to the Dark World, so yeah. There's a Moon Pearl Gate up there, so we need to get one, obviously. We probably get the Pegasus Boots for killing off these guys, I'm guessing, anyway. Okay, here's the Moon Pearl. I was trying to go for hearts, but whatever, I'll take the Moon Pearl. And in here, let's destroy out the Stalfos Knights. They're the kind that don't jump. There we go. 
Easy enough, we got a ton of force gems up here. Let's go collect all those. We got a pretty good amount. We still need about 600 more before we're leveled up, though. Did we miss something in here, though? I left so quickly for the forest gems. Yes, we did. I'm glad that I went back. I knew that we'd be getting a lantern or a fire rod eventually. Okay, I remember two places with unlit torches. One was right in front of a door, and one was right down here by the wall. And this one just gives us a, a pretty good amount of forest gems. Then here's the other area I was talking about. With uh, Pegasus boots. Nice. Alright, let's look around. Uh, first let's go back to that one room where the guy hinted the Pegasus boots to us. Okay, I'm guessing... Yeah, you see? Where, where do we meet up with the Great Fairy? Because we can't run across these holes otherwise. Maybe I just messed up or something. Let's try it again. Okay, we can run across the holes. What sense does that make? Whatever, I guess. I won't question it. Let's pull this lever and keep on moving. Alright, what do we got over here? We have a door. Let's keep moving. That was kind of cool. Watching the floor collapse underneath them all. What do we have in here? We have holes that we can't run across. Yeah, so we do need to find the Great Fairy to get the level 2 boots. Or a rock's feather, because there ain't no other way for us to do anything. Well, let's go looking around. It has to be somewhere within this area, because uh, we're locked out from leaving this uh, main little area here. And here we just have the room we shot the slingshot in. Okay, what do we have in here? We have four unlit torches, so let's go get the lantern. I like how you have more uh, control over yourself in this game with the Pegasus boots. In the other Zeldas, if you choose to uh, go in another direction while you're running, it'll stop you and you'll have to run again. In this game, you don't uh, stop running whenever you change direction. It's pretty neat. And we found the Great Fairy, but she can't power up a lamp. And, uh, we didn't really need the lamp to be powered up. Let's go get the boots. After we get the boots, we gotta go back to that portal that I, uh, was at before. Then we can obviously run over the holes, and we will try to figure out what to do from there. This hasn't been too bad of a dungeon so far. I've been enjoying it. Alright, let's get our level 2 boots. And down we go. And over here to the right. This has been an amazing game. I've really been enjoying this. It took a little while to get used to uh, controlling Link with the analog stick on the GameCube controller, but it's it's not that bad. And then uh, formations. I'm still trying to memorize uh, what direction I push on the C the C stick for what. Well. Not really, just for that one back-to-back -back formation. I just keep forgetting that you had to push left. I can remember it off the top of my head, but uh, whenever the time comes to actually push the direction, I always press the wrong one. Just a little re-re thing that I do. And let's head over here to the left. Another thing that I noticed is... Uh, get oh, there we go. Didn't quite see Dark Link there, wasn't paying enough attention. Glad that I got him in time, but uh, like I was saying, another uh, leveling up. Like I was saying, uh, another thing that I noticed that Four Swords Adventures just took from other Zeldas is uh, the Oracles games and uh, Link's Awakening. How you run around like in all eight directions and whatnot here, and then you can enter like certain areas and it will be strictly left and right, like a platformer. So that's kind of cool. And uh, what else do we got? There we go. I still don't understand what those two chests combined is all about. Hey, a boss key. No, a big key. Okay, well, there we go. Nice! Well, that's kind of cool. Those chests now make a little more sense to me. We got bombs. Nice. I've seen little locked areas here and there. I did not mean to grab the Pegasus boots. 
I meant sealed areas, not locked areas here and there. Alright, let's get this last chest and then bomb our way out of here. Alright, there we go. Probably got switches underneath these pots and I was right. There we go. Then we have another sealed wall at the top up here. What do we have in here? We have a switch over there hit with a sword beam and that doesn't work. So, we'll place a bomb, throw it over there, detonate. And that worked for a heart container. Nice. And I remember that there's a lot of uh, sealed walls over here. wonder why the sword beams can't uh, detonate bombs. Well, at least the bombs I just pressed uh, put down back there against the wall. I'd like to hurricane spin attack these guys too. And, uh, doesn't seem like we're going to be allowed to. It's not fun anymore. There's too few of them. Seems like a lot of the opportunities that I get to mow down a lot of enemies with a hurricane spin attack, they always kill themselves while I'm trying to prepare it. Kind of kills the fun of doing it. What do we have up here? We got some switches. We'll need the slingshot for it. Let's shoot them all. What did that do for us? That opened up a path straight across. Nice. And I guess we just have to do that again. Ah, come on. Let's see what that did. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not going to go screwing around with those switches. There's an easier way. Okay, over there, red. Over there, blue. Okay, red, throw blue. Okay, blue, call everybody over. There we go. And we got more of the Moldorms, the little ones. I remember that uh, giant Moldorm uh, boss from A Link to the Past. That was the most annoying boss in my opinion. Not a hard boss, just a really, really annoying one because it can knock you off and then you'll have to start the battle all over again. And uh, over here we go. Uh... Speaking of that boss, huh? This is gonna be interesting. Obviously, you have to hit its tail with the link that matches the color of it, so red link to the red tail. I hope we don't have to start the whole battle over if we get knocked off, though. Okay, it's gonna be... purple, so let's go ahead and get it. I think Link looks like uh, looks like he's wearing pink, but everything that's like associated with that particular Link says that it's purple. Whatever, though, doesn't really matter. This has actually been a pretty fun boss fight so far, and now it's going to split into two. I think I might have spoken too soon. Okay, we got one green, one purple. Let's get rid of the green one. Ah. Okay. Where you get the purple one? Ah, come on. Let's break open some pots. There we go. Got our health back. Let's go back up. We have a blue one and a uh, pink one. Purple one, whatever you want to look at it as. Ah, come on. Well, at least on the good side, we don't have to start this battle completely over if we fall down, so it's a little less annoying than the A Link to the Past one. Not to mention it's a little more fun having uh, to hit it with certain links and whatnot. Okay. Wait for the right moment to get a hit in. Switch to green. Oh, I was going to try to get a quick back attack in on him. Failed at it. Okay, we need to get green back down here. we go. I don't expect this one to have a whole lot left to it. Okay, we got blue. There we go. Got a quick attack in on it. Let's see what color it ends up being now. Purple. There we go. Another quick back attack in on it. Alright, we got red. There we go. 
Wow, this one has quite a bit more health than that other one did. Okay. Ah, come on. It's not that big a deal. If we, if we had to start the whole fight over, like I said, this would be an incredibly annoying boss. Especially since it splits into two, but since it doesn't start the battle over, it's actually pretty enjoyable. That was a pretty fun boss. Kind of funny that I was just talking about the uh, Link to the Past battle against that same boss, and then we wound up fighting it. I think that might be the end of this palace. And, uh... I think so, yep. Sounds like Ganon. Yep, Trident. I do, I do. Ends up being Vaddy. Vaddy's now a Ganon wannabe. He's wearing a little pig costume, carrying around a Trident. That'd be kind of funny. With that, we have now rescued our uh, sixth maiden. Now all we have left to do is rescue Zelda, get the uh, last little royal jewel, and uh, finish off the game. That I did. You're welcome. not rescuing Zelda now, are we? I don't think we are. <laughs> Alright. Yeah I, yeah, I didn't think that we'd be rescuing Zelda just yet. have to get the pink or the purple, I guess, uh, gem. We just rescued the purple fairy, or the purple maiden, I'm sorry. Who also looks more pink than purple to me. Oh well, like I said, not a big deal. And with that, we have now completed the pyramid. And uh, also finished off a uh, little area six. So onward to the ice area, apparently. Frozen Hyrule and whatnot. See that area get all opened up and whatnot for us? And well, that is it for this part.